guys, it's Armin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, I hope you stick around. Don't forget to subscribe down below as well as the notification bell so you can be told when I make a new video. Today I am filming my updated bookshelf tour. Um, I went back and rewatched my old one before this so I could like have a reminder of what was present during my last one and apparently it's been pretty much exactly a year since I posted my last bookshelf tour so this is like a full circle moment for me. Um, because it's been like a year since I started my channel and I had two bookshelves when I filmed the first one and I was so excited about my bookshelf setup and then I like completely rearranged my shelves soon after that and now I have four bookshelves and honestly I really love my current setup. If you've been watching my videos recently you're pretty familiar with it already um, but if you've just gone from like bookshelf tour one to bookshelf to bookshelf tour two um, there's a lot different and I am definitely much happier with this setup but unfortunately I am leaving for college in a couple of weeks and I'm not taking most of my books with me I'm only gonna have one shelf there so um, before I go through all of these and kind of mess everything up and figure out which books I'm taking with me and which books I'm not I figured I would just show you guys what it's looked like for the past few months and you know my favorite setup so far that I've had but before I get into it disclaimer um, the organization system on my bookshelf is something very specific to me like I know a lot of people on booktube have like books that are organized in rainbow shelves or they have books that are organized by genre or like exclusively by author or series or something that really makes sense to like everyone watching. No, my bookshelves are like an amalgamation of every single organization style that I like and so it's kind of a mess and it makes sense to me in my head and I will try to explain it as I go along but I'm sorry in advance if none of this makes any sense. Anyways, now I will get into the books. So I'm going to start over here on this shelf, which is where I keep my books by author for the most part. So I have my two Shadowhunter shelves, my Rick Ryden shelf, and then it's not by author anymore. It's just a random collection of books down there. So um, ignore what I just said. First Shadowhunter shelf, I have my Dark Artifices, Hardcovers, Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, Queen of Air and Darkness. Um, then I have the Bane Chronicles, and then I have Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron, which are both collector's first editions chain of gold is actually signed and then i have another somewhat signed copy um it's clockwork angel it's the 10th anniversary edition which has all of the like special stuff on it and when i went to the chain of gold book signing i got a little signed book plate that i then put in this book then i have clockwork prince and clockwork princess with our which which are also both collector's first editions i actually don't have the clockwork angel hardcover i only have prince and princess but I will get to it when I get down there. My Clockwork Angel copy is actually very special to me. So here's Ghost of the Shadow Market, which I finally acquired and I have read. So I have it there. I really loved it. Then I have City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Heavenly Fire. Um, I don't have the rest of the series in hardcover, but I don't really care about the Mortal Instruments that much. I know, blasphemy. Um, this is like out of all of her works. These are probably my least favorite in terms of series. Then I have The Lost Book of the White, which is the second book in the Eldest Curses series. Um, then I have all of these character cards. Last bookshelf tour, they were like hanging out behind my books, but I moved my shelves around a bit, so there's no space for them there. So, of course, I have Cordelia on the front because she is the best character in the series, followed by all the rest of them. I really love these cards, but I like having Cordelia front and center. Then I have this little candle because I love candles and also this little figurine I mentioned last time my mom brought it from India. I think it's an incense holder but I just really liked it so it's up here. Next up I have my Rick Riordan hardcover shelf so I have all five books of the Heroes of Olympus. Then I have all five books of The Trials of Apollo, which I actually just finished reading. It was a bit bittersweet for me because I finally finished the last book in the entirety of Rick Riordan's like Greek mythology universe. Um, the entire Percy Jackson universe is like done now. No more cameos. Um, so that was kind of sad for me, but it was still a really good experience reading these books. Then I have my Magnus Chase books, which are his Norse books, and I'm just now realizing that this one is in red and the other two are in white, and I'm not. Oh, well, this one's yellow, but they both kind of look the same, and then this one is different, so that kind of bothers me now. But overall, they're really good. Then I have the Egyptian mythology series, the, um, the Red Pyramid, the Throne of Fire, and the Serpent's Shadows. This is the Cain Chronicles. I used to also have, just like the character cards, I had pictures of all of the main characters from Percy Jackson up behind my shelves, but um, 
they don't fit there anymore so i just have percy and then this cat this candle i got it and i liked it when i got it but it kind of smells disgusting so um it's here for show i'm not gonna burn it or use it at any point because it kind of smells disgusting Moving on to my next Shadowhunter shelf. This is all of my paperbacks. I have Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, which I still have not read. Um, I have this succulent. Then I have a little Big Ben um, tower that I got from London. Um, it was on my shelf with all of my other stuff from other countries, but I figured it would be better here. Then I have Clockwork Angel, City of Bones, City of Ashes. Um, I said I would mention Clockwork Angel. This book is actually, I think, the first book that I ever really bought. I can't confirm, but it's definitely one of my oldest books. I've had it since probably 2010. It has a little mark where I stuck a temporary tattoo on it for some reason. Um, and it's like my first real book that I remember buying, so that's really special to me. Next up, I have my picture spines of The Infernal Devices, which is one of my favorite Cassandra Clare series. Um, so there's Will, Jem, and Tessa. And then, in my previous one, all I had was Queen of Air and Darkness in Picture Spine, and I have got the other two now. So this is the entire Dark Artifices series in Picture Spine, which is also one of my favorite Cassandra Clare series. Over here, I have my unopened Broken Earth trilogy, the fifth season, The Obelisk Gate, and The Stone Sky. Oops, I dropped a postcard. Um, and this was sent to me, I believe, by Andri, um, and we were supposed to read it together, and I just never got around to it. I think she's already started it or finished the series, and I just never did, so sorry. But um, there it is. And the postcard I dropped was on this shelf because it's from London, and Connor sent it to me, and I keep dropping it. Um, I actually just got, got this in the mail like last week, and it was really sweet, so it's up here. Then I have this mug that one of my roommates gave me for my birthday last year. Oh my god, the postcard just fell again. I'm sorry, Connor, I keep dropping your postcard. <laughs> Stay, please. Just, just hang out here. Don't go anywhere. Um, but this has all of my like paper bookmarks and like assorted other bookmarks, um, but I will talk about those in another video. Over here, I just have like this random small shelf that I couldn't really do anything about because one of these shelves is fixed and I can't move them. Uh, so I just turned it into like a little candle shelf. Um, so I have like my assorted candles here, some incense, some more candles. This is the one I actually burn. It's really messy, so I just keep it hidden back there. Um, and this one I showed off in my last video. I still haven't used it. I just, I haven't gotten around to it. Um, but yeah, I have that. And then down here, like I said, are just some assorted books. Some of these are actually going to be unhauled when I finally unhaul sometime soon. Um, I have the Goldfinch. I have a stack of blue books, most of which I have not read. So I haven't read Bridge of Clay or All Fall, All Fall Down. I finally read American Marriage. I really didn't like it, though, so it's probably going. I uh, have not read The Book of M or Ghost at a Watchman, Life of Pi, or The Appearance of Annie Vincent. And I actually DNF'd this one, so all of those are probably um, not coming with me, but also not, I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Then I have The Star Won't Go Out, Inheritance, Tiger's Destiny, and I was going to make a video regarding not just this series, but just white women writing POC characters, and I just never got to it. Um, but I did want to. I just am not sure that I'm going to waste time reading this series again just to make a commentary about it, but I might still make the video. Then I have Elf Realm. Um, I have this extra copy of Harry Potter down here. And then I have Insurgent Allegiant. And then I have the Pathfinder series, which I actually really liked the series, but the last book sucked and I've just relegated it down here because it didn't fit anywhere else. Moving on to my next shelf, the top couple of shelves are also hardcovers, but these are arranged mostly by height, so these are all like that new small hardcover that is like what you buy at when you go to Barnes & Noble, it's like the short ones, and I didn't realize that hardcovers came in different heights until I had these, and I had these, and they didn't like, they didn't work together. So these are like the tiny hardcovers. I have the Red Scrolls of Magic, which actually isn't a hardcover. I literally just contradicted myself. This one is a paperback and I couldn't figure out where else to put it, so it's here. Then I have Fable, um, which I got for free with my Camp NaNoWriMo care package, which was really cool. Um, and the cover for this is also really cool. I haven't read it yet, but it looks really nice. Then I have Salt to the Sea, which I have not read yet. I have House of Salt and Sorrows, which I really liked. I love the cover of this as well. That's why it's displayed. Then I have the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Um, I'm not really sure why it's here and not with the other books. I think it's because this was like three green books together and they just fit, so I just left it there. Then I have Song of Raids and Ruin, and then the two Kiyoshi books, which I haven't read yet. Um, my Last Olympian and The Darkest Legacy, which is a signed copy that Andrew gave me when I visited her recently. And I have this little, little print of Appa that my cousin gave me for Christmas. 
I am like out of breath and my arm hurts from holding this camera. I really am so out of shape right now. But um, anyways, moving this candle aside, I have The Tudor, I have Legendborn, which I haven't read. Uh, that was given to me by my roommate for my birthday. Then I have the box of my Six of Crows duology and I just like <laughs> put it to the side so it would look balanced and nice. These are my taller hardcovers and I didn't have enough to like fill it up. But um, then I have Cersei on display, of course. And then I have Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, my sprayed edges, which I showed off last time. And I'm not going to this time or it's going to fall. Um, and then I have Ninth House, which I haven't read yet. And this photo. And then I have like just the Harry Potter books on the shelf with all of my assorted paraphernalia. I have this little patch. I talked about it last time. So I'm not going to go into like the details of all of the assorted items on the shelf. But I have some bookmarks. All the books, um, some little side copies, the box, some like maps and letters and stuff, and then Hedwig and this mug. Over here is kind of my compromise for not having rainbow shelves. Um, this is like my one rainbow shelf. So if you can see, it's like red to yellow, green, blue, no really purple, but it's fine. But this is kind of also arranged by height. So it's like rainbow and height. Um, if that makes sense, I have like all of my UK books here, which are shorter than all the other books I own. So I have, um, well, starting from here is my UK copies. This one is just a random short copy. It's Crazy Rich Asians, then Clap and You Land with the Fire on High, Song of Achilles, Poet X, um, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I love this book. Then I have this random tiny poetry book. I don't know if you can see it. It's In the Absence of Sun by Emily Curtis. And I have this No One Belongs Here More Than You, Stories by Miranda July. I haven't read this yet. And then I have Alice Hoffman, Rules of Magic. Perks of Being a Wallflower is tiny. I just put it here because it was sitting off to the side, but it's green, so I just like stuck it in. 100 Years of Solitude, and my best friend Christine gave this to me for my birthday, and I haven't read it yet. The Descent of the Drowned, but this was sent to me by the publisher, and it was absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. It's really good. The Night Diary was also really good. Words in Deep Blue is also a UK copy. I actually bought this from Blackwells when I visited the UK. The Beginning of Everything. Red Queen. I don't really like Red Queen, so I don't know why I'm keeping it, but I have a hard time letting go of books, if you couldn't tell. So I have that. I have Divergent. Tale of Two Cities. I bought the wrong version of the classics. I wanted a Penguin classic, and I ended up just buying this, and now I have it, so um, it doesn't match. Pachinko. Still haven't read. Life Water for Chocolate. Like Water for Chocolate. I still haven't read. Maze Runner, Book of Dust, and A Man Called Ove. Down here, I just have my movies. I've finally given them their own shelf. So I have uh, some games, some movies, some more movies, Avatar, and like a couple of other books, and my wand, which didn't fit up here. I'm gonna start from the bottom because I'm too lazy to get up, but here I have my vinyl records, and then I have a bunch of books from school. So like all of my Spanish books and all of that. This shelf is also somewhat arranged by height. Um, I have Linger, Forever, I still don't have Shiver. And then I have all of my Mitch album books, but I still haven't read. And then I have three Penguin classics. It's a budding collection. It's growing slightly. Then I have Radiance and Shimmer, which is a middle grade. I have Legend, and then I just sort of have a bunch of middle grade books here. Tunnel, Freefall, a bunch of the Foxcar Children books, a bunch of the Magic Treehouse books, and Pendragon. I found all of these right here at that thrift store that I go to sometimes where the books are like 10 cents a piece. Um, and I just impulse bought like a lot of um, a lot of children's books. So like I've said, I feel like book buying and book reading are two separate hobbies and these are all a result of book buying tendencies rather than reading tendencies. I did read all of these when I was younger, but like there's no reason for me to have them now. I just bought them because I wanted them from this store, I guess. So moving on to this shelf, again, it is somewhat arranged by height, somewhat by color. Um, starting on this side, I have Milk and Honey. Pillow Thoughts, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, I have The Darkest Minds series, um, The Scorch Trials, Fifth Wave, which I still haven't gotten rid of. I'm sorry to those of you who watched my last book haul and thought I was going to get rid of these books. Um, I have The Book Thief, The Power of One, The Joy Luck Club, Devil in the White City, The Kite Runner, which is a better copy that I had to purchase because the other one I had was like disgusting. I ordered it online and it just was not in good condition. Then I have Their Eyes Were Watching God, A True Girls in Brooklyn, and Unbowed. And then I have this, my old bullet journal. Over here, I have If I Stay Uglies, which I need to get the rest of the series for, um, The Hangman's Daughter, Every Last Word, and Everything Everything. This mug over here has all of my more favorite bookmarks, so like not the paper ones, um, and some other stuff, and then like some 
lavender sprigs. And over here is this little candle um, sitting on this little thing and some stuff I need to put away. So don't look at that. Um, over here is like my white books shelf somewhat and then there's like random pops of color so it's like white and rainbow i don't really know what's going on but i will show you over here i've crossed and reached i still don't have matched as i said a place for us silvered serpents which i need to read i just never got to it um i have becoming which i also haven't read shakespeare and swahili land have not read sun and her flowers haven't read great goddesses i actually picked this up um at the bookshop i went to where i got this shirt that i'm wearing but i really want to read this sometime soon Searching for Sappho, haven't read, it's on my list, I'll get to it, binge, an emotion of great delight, I did read this, I have thoughts about it, I never wrote the review though, so, uh, yeah, I haven't, um, and very large expanse of sea, this copy is signed, unearth were briefly gorgeous, and then my entire treasure trove of my Ember in the Ashes series. I have the paperbacks of Ember, Torch, and Reaper, and then hardcover Reaper and Sky. I'd like to get hardcovers of the rest of them. Well, these two. But Ember doesn't have a hardcover that is not the Barnes & Noble edition, and the Barnes & Noble edition is glossy. It's not matte, so I'm upset. But for now, I just have these, and they're all so beautiful. Just look at them. Especially Sky. It's so pretty. Oh, also, this is autographed. Yes. Up here is, I guess, another rainbow shelf. So, yeah, um, I, I said it made sense, but it, it kind of doesn't make sense. Here's another somewhat rainbow shelf. Also, this is arranged by height. So here's all the blue ones and then red and yellow. So it's not even a full rainbow. But behind this postcard, well, I have this postcard. And then behind that, I have... The Making of Asian America, There There, Shadow of the Wind, Dear Nobody, How It All Blew Up. This cover is like, I don't really like the cover. I don't like the material of it or whatever, so I took it off and it was just black underneath, so I kept that. Then I have Darius the Great Deserves Better and Darius the Great Is Not Okay. All three of these were sent to me by Penguin Teen. Then I have my Hunger Games books here. Like I said, I don't know why Ballad is over there, but this is where the rest of the Hunger Games books are with Katniss Evermall. Hey, hello. Clap when you land the hardcover. Okay, why is everything like pushed forward? What the heck? Don't mind me, just rearranging my shelves right now. Clap when you land, we were liars, adult lessons, mosquito land. I'm probably gonna unhaul this. I didn't really like it after I thought about it for more than five minutes. <laughs> okay, for now, mocking jay. Um, that's my second copy. Yeah. Then I have Goodbye Days, Lovely Bones, and Wonder. I haven't read these two yet. And then I have this mug. I love it. This mug is like my favorite thing ever. It's Pooh Bear and it's like the 100 acre wood. Hold on. Let me change hands. Um, and it has 100 acre wood. And I'm using it right now to store my stickers. So there's a lot of stickers in there right now, but I keep it right here. And then up there I have You Will Get Through This Night by Daniel Howell. Elise was very kind and sent me this book and I haven't read it yet, but I will get to it. I promise. And then I have this little art thing. It's really cute. I love it. Now moving on to my final shelves. I have a actual dragon shelf now. It's not just mixed in. I have this little dragon my friend got me, that another dragon, um, Gwendolyn, and this one from the Renaissance Festival, Aragon, these three books from The Last Dragon Chronicles, and Brisinger, the tiny copy over there. Um, over here I have the other five like Percy Jackson books I have because they're all paperback and they're all mismatched and then I have Howl's Moving Castle. I finally got House of Many Ways but I haven't read it yet but I, li I really like having these next to each other. Um, I have The Downstairs Girl by Stacey Lee, The Luck of the, Tit Luck of the Titanic also by Stacey Lee. This was sent to me by Penguin Teen. Highly recommend both of these books. They're really good. Um, Radio Silence and The Kill Order. I don't know why The Kill Order is over there. <laughs> like the rest of these books I really love and then The Kill Order is just hanging out over there. But um, I have this like calcite crystal that I got. Don't fall, please. And I have this, I got this from Arkansas recently. This is like a citrine crystal little desk hangy thing and I love it a lot. Over here is my John Green shelf with all of the John Green books. I haven't really changed up the shelf. I kind of like the way it looks and they're all kind of there. This is like all of the John Green books I'm currently interested in buying. I haven't bought his most recent one yet, but that's all of these. Over here, it kind of starts after this point, just getting to the point where I didn't have space to really arrange them in any sort of specific way. So. Here's five arcs that are just together because they match. Uh, the Truly Devious series, what I have of it, and I haven't read it yet. My Totoro 
this random mug that my cousin made for me years ago for Christmas. Some succulents, they cute. And then my little candle back there. And then down here I have the Lord of the Rings, Maleficent, Whiskey Words in a Shovel, The Beast Within, Closer and Deeper. I think it's like somewhat arranged by height. And then I just have this camera. Over here, I do actually like the shelf. Um, it's not really arranged in any specific way, but um, I have Midnight Without a Moon, which I got and I haven't read. Last night, The Telegraph Club, sent to me by Penguin Teen. Really love that book. I am a Lala, and then If They Come For Us. And I also have this really cool candle I got from the Renaissance Festival, um, and then this egg is not part of it, but I also got this egg from Arkansas, and I really love it. It's it's literally just an egg. It, like, shines different colors, and yeah. And then over here, I have the other two Kala Tosini books. I haven't read The Vanishing Half, have not read Mexican Gothic. I was displaying it last time I filmed a bookshelf tour because, you know, the cover's really nice and all, but I actually hated the book, so now it's down here. Um, this book, Connor sent me it's got his little letter that came with it inside um and then the secret history perfectly perfect i still need to read this this was also sent to me by penguin teen um in five years eleanor oliphant homebody and dream country this was sent to me by a publisher i need to read all all of these pretty much right here over here is like this random assorted shelf so i have salt of the sea another copy because my friend um from school sent me these two books and then i have these two copies of grim lovelies that i got for free and I have um, this book by the author of The Alchemist. Where did I? I took The Alchemist somewhere else, but I also have The Alchemist. I have The Fifth Mountain, um, and then I have The Shadow of the Banyan, which I still need to read. But all of these were like 10 cents a piece. And then I have The Brutal Telling. I need to read that. I have Farewell to Manzanar, which I've already read. And I have Scythe, which I have not read. And then The Princess Saves Herself in this one. Then over here, I just have The Amazing Book is Not on Fire, The Mortal Instruments thing, and then this, because they didn't fit anywhere else. And then over here is like my somewhat unhaul shelf, so I have The Casual Vacancies still. Girls Like Me, which I said I would unhaul, and it's still here. This book loves you. 131 different things. This random book I picked up at a thrift store. I don't even know why I got it. Made, which I also didn't like. This other random thrift shop book. This one, this one, and... This one I actually ordered while I was reading it for class, but it's just here right now. And then The Good Earth, which was another, like, oh, I've read this book, I'm gonna buy it, but why Why do I want this? It doesn't fit anywhere, it's, like, tiny. All the way up here, I have my tarot books, and then a couple of tiny books up there. I think it's Beowulf, um, A Raisin in the Sun, and then The Fatimids, so that's, like, a bunch of books up there. So that is all the books I currently have on my shelves. There's, like, a few more that I took somewhere else for decorative purposes. It's, like, The Alchemist, my copy of Little Women, the Puffin and Bloom version, um, and then I have, like, Interpreter Maladies by Drupa Lahiri and, like, some other books. I think it was all, like, neutral tones, and I took those somewhere else. I'll, like, insert a picture. But, um, that is all the books I currently have on my shelves. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you like my new setup that is currently, like, only in existence for two more weeks. Um, or if you've read any of these books or whatever, just let me know down below. And, as always, don't forget to subscribe so you can be told when I make a new video, because hopefully I will be posting new content very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.